My name is Jen. I'm, I'm, I'm with the MathWorks Devel Development Department. I'm going to present some progress we have made in the CMD area. So let's start with a small example of the color space conversion algorithm. Um, on the left hand side is a, is a piece of MATLAB code which implements the algorithm. MATLAB language, actually, if you think about it, is, is very easy for the customer to explicitly specify the parallelism in the codes, right? And um, to, to speed up the codes, actually, it's intuitive to map those so-called embarrassingly parallel constructs from the front end to some of the parallel constructs in the, in the target platform. It can be powerful to OpenMP or TBB, or it can be this vectorized semantics to CMD operations. And these CMD operations actually can speed things a lot. For this particular example, by using the CMD intrinsics in the C code, when you compare this version of the C code with the CMD intrinsics to the other version of the C code without the CMD, the speed up can be up to 16 times. So it's a very big jump. So our, our mission really is to better utilize these embarrassingly parallel constructs from the front end to help us improve the speed of the generic codes. And we start with the CMD. Now we do have some old shipped features for CMD support, but it's not always optimized. Let's use this example to look into some of the issues we can face if we use an old shipped feature. So the old feature is based on um, wrapper functions. These wrapper functions actually are handwritten. And the CMD intrinsics are not represented in our, our IR. Instead, they are part of the handwritten wrapper functions. So if you want to use the CMD intrinsics, you have to call the wrapper functions in the other functions in your code. Now, this brings a lot of issues. First, the most important one, no other optimizations can kick in for the wrapper functions. So there's no way to optimize it. And because of this, you can see we have redundant buffers because the call side doesn't know how the buffers are used, so there's, it's very hard to optimize those away. And uh, the wrapper function itself cannot be optimized. As a result, you can have redundant loops, although sometimes these loops are, uh, are really just useless, right? But you, you have them there. So in 18A, the first thing we have done is to bring the same intrinsics into IR so that other optimizations can kick in. Other optimizations, when I talk about them, includes expression folding, var reuse, loop fusion, all, all sorts of things you can, you can think about. And as a result, you can see on the right-hand side, this, this code is much closer to the code you would write if you write it manually. And I think this is a very critical first step to achieve the 16 times speed up I mentioned in the previous slide. So a summary, there's no wrapper function, the loops are fused, and the load store op operations are minimized. Uh, it's to, to use this new CMD feature, it's actually very easy. You open the configuration settings panel, and you go to the co code replacement library dragdown menu, and you'll see four new libraries there, the, the Intel SSE AVX for Windows and Linux. After you select one of the table, you don't have to do anything else. Uh, the CMD intrinsic will be automatically generated for your codes. Uh, for embedded coder. Thank you very much. Uh,